Avatar. Okay, fine. Avatar is a movie by James Cameron where things are blue. Wait, no, Avatar is a movie by M. Night Shyamalan a Ding Dong where things- What do you want from me? Why do you want me to do this one so bad? Oh yeah, it's like Pocahontas but with aliens. Yeah, suck my dick, you're fucking dumb. I'm not saying that it's not Pocahontas with aliens. I'm saying you don't fucking remember Pocahontas that well, don't lie. I would be willing to bet that 90% of the people that say Avatar is dumb because of this probably would not have even noticed if some idiot on the internet didn't point it out for him. I'm calling bullshit on you. If I get over a hundred video responses of people blindfolded, perfectly reciting the lyrics to Just Around the River Bend, I will admit that I'm wrong. But now I'm here, and I have nothing to do. So I'm gonna go through some stuff that I wanted to talk about, or that you wanted me to talk about, or that nobody wanted me to talk about. I don't even fucking know what's going on. Biocock 2! In addition to being something that never should have been made, Bioshock 2 is also fucking retarded. Bioshock 1 took place on a thing called Rapture, which is a city that was built on their water because Ayn Rand. It was also completely fucked up in Bioshock 1 because Ayn Rand. And I'm pretty sure at the end of Bioshock 1, the whole fucking thing gets destroyed. In Bioshock 2, it's in slightly better condition, and you play as the guy who is like the original of the thing in Bioshock 1. Oh yeah, it's not fucking destroyed. But I go through the whole first half thinking that it's a prequel and the game somehow makes sense. It doesn't, and it's not. So, you know. X-Men, the first Dash. Okay. So, I I'm to believe that at some point during the making of this movie, somebody actually said, Hey, I think it would be really cool if we had a scrawny red-haired kid whose superpower is to scream really loud. And then we'll give him flying squirrel wings so he can scream to fly around. This is a thing that happened. Which is amazing on its own, mind you, but I think what's weirder is that some other human being had to say, Yeah, that's totally a good idea. Finalize it, cut, print, we're good. Let's make some magic, people. Star Wars! And I'm not talking about the ones that everyone hates. I'm talking about the ones that you probably like. Fucking dickass. Why do people like Boba Fett? He's fucking stupid and does nothing cool. And he's got like the lamest death I've ever seen in anything ever. The Yeti goes <laughs> and then Harrison Ford turns around because he didn't hear him quite right and by complete fucking accident hits Boba Fett with the back of his spear. Which makes Boba Fett's fucking stupid jetpack oh malfunction and shoots him into a wall and then into a really big worm. And then he dies. Eh, eh, stop it. Yeah, you know who you are. I know what you're gonna say. No, please. Tell me how he's totally redeemed by the completely legitimate monetized fan fiction that passes as the Star Wars Expanded Universe. How about when Star Wanker, the son of Darth Vader or whatever the fuck he is, kills him with his own rocket in the Force Unleashed? You know, it's right after the part where he makes Luke into a bad guy. That's totally authentic too, right? God, people care about this. Minecraft. There you go, you got plenty of empty space to entertain yourself. I'll take my critical acclaim and billions of dollars now. Mass Erect 3! I'm all dried up from the first two and I'm just shooting after boogers. Oh wait. So the ending of this game is badly written. Like that's allegedly something you care about. The main bad guy being a dude with a sword? No, that's totally fucking cool. I can't believe I actually have to explain why this is stupid to the power of infinity. You do know there's a reason why people don't use swords anymore, right? Like, even point-blank range, face-to-face, -face, you got a sword and someone else has a gun. You're gonna fuck with the And like, that's now. Mass Effect is in the super future where everyone has telekinesis and laser guns. This asshole shows up with like a regular ass sword. Despite the fact that that's stupid as hell on its own, Shepard has this hologram blade thing that comes out of his arm. You fucking use one of those. It's like weightless and shit. And then later, when you kill him, you fucking break the sword with your fist. And this is like the, the main reoccurring bad guy, mind you. It's not like this is a small thing. He's throughout the whole fucking game. People complain about the writing for the ending. And this gets a pass. This is fine. No, this is totally fun. Metal Queer Solid. Okay, I might get back to this one, but in case I don't, am I the only person that remembers the part where Snake did a backflip off of a rocket? In the first Metal Gear Solid, there's a part where a helicopter shoots a rocket at Snake, and he does a backflip off of it. I'm not imagining this, right? I swear this was a thing. Gay ass sex two man revolution. I don't really have one for this. I just, it's like the funniest joke title, but I, it's, I don't actually have anything. To ah, Jesus fuck. I had to get to this one eventually. We've all had some fun with the bad on this show. We laughed when I watched Twilight. Wasn't that funny? Cause you know, it's so bad. It's so stupid, right? Marcus is dead. Remember that? No? 
Oh. I kind of figured you saw the other ones. Final faggotry V-I-I-I. That's eight if you read Roman numeral. Put down your aqueducts and your discus, because we're about to fucking... Eh. I could probably do a whole entire video on this very easily. But I would literally actually rather fucking kill myself than finish it. It has nothing to do with all the characters being completely inhuman and unlikable and it being a fucking infinity and a half hour game. Because, you know, I don't have fucking friends. Not like I have something better to do. It really has more to do with the fact that in this game, there exists the absolute worst thing that has ever been called writing in the history of mankind. Mind you, this is including first grade English assignments, Twitter posts by Soldier Boy, indecipherable drunken text messages, that stream of letters that you get when you're cleaning your keyboard, and YouTube comments trying to refute this. So about 20 hours into this game, which takes itself super fucking seriously by the way, you come across this orphanage completely at random, and then through a series of shitty flashback sequences you find out that the characters that you've been steadily meeting throughout the game and don't seem to know before that point, all used to be at the same orphanage, flat out unadulterated Muppet baby style, with the main villain playing the role of the head caretaker. All of the characters then say, well gosh and golly gee, I guess we just forgot. I wonder why we all don't remember. Then out of completely fucking nowhere, one of the characters pulls the theory of, I guess the things that we used to fight make us forget everything. Without any reason to back this up, all the other characters go, oh yeah, whoopsie daisy. They proceed to ignore this for the rest of forever and are now super conflicted about fighting the bad guy. <sighs> Let me just say, um, hmm. How do I phrase this? <sighs> no! No! Fucking no! And furthermore, no! why? Ah, Jesus! How the? the fu How do you even- This is like every possible act of treason against the arts Rolled up in like a burrito of failure Unless I come to find that the person who wrote this has had several miscarriages I will never truly believe in karma Now if I go too in depth on this, we will literally be here forever But I'm gonna lightly gloss over some of the things that are horribly wrong with this First of all, this is a gigantic bullshit coincidence And on top of it being completely stupid, there's no reason for it thematically Second, children are fucking irrelevant The whole point of a childhood flashback is to show how it affected someone developing Developmentally. What actually happens doesn't matter. Cause honestly, you don't give a shit about When it. I was five years old, I swore revenge on the person who- But every character here acts exactly like their baby Looney Tunes style counterpart, so... Should that be something that you can say unironically about anything in general? Also, there is really no good way to go about, Oops, I guess we all just coincidentally forgot our whole entire childhood. But they just have one of the characters pull the explanation out of his ass and everyone else just rolls with it. Also, if this is something that they all completely forgot about, and they don't actually remember it and they're just being reminded of it? Why are they so conflicted about fighting the villain? Oh yeah, she was a total bitch and almost killed all of us. But she was my babysitter from when I was four that I don't remember. And that's ultimately what they take from this? You forgot your whole childhood, but that's not a red flag. I would probably be a lot more concerned that I'm apparently doing something that causes severe cerebral degeneration. Might be cause to at least consider rethinking your life? You know, when something you frequently do is punching holes in your brain, actively making you stupider, like, for example, let's say there's a show on the internet, and a guy just talks about how fucking dumb shit is. You would have to be some kind of idiot to 